In the energy quadrant, taking a look at the November natural gas futures, which is bouncing off the 200 day moving average. It has now moved higher in three of the last four sessions, enjoying a gap higher today. We have now retraced 25% of the 26.8% down move from the high on October 4th to the low on October 21st. But natural gas is up against resistance bands that it has so far failed against. The high today, two spot, 452. That was a 4.7%. The low today, two spot, 373, was a gap higher of one and a third percent over yesterday's settlement of two spot, 342. And as we come in toward the close, we're still up about 3.2%. This week's natural gas storage report came out today from the EIA and it showed a build of 80 billion cubic feet from the previous week. Stocks were 106 billion cubic feet higher than this time last year at 167 billion cubic feet above the five-year average of 3,618 billion cubic feet. At 3,785 billion cubic feet, total working gas supplies is within that five-year historical range, so nothing unusual there. Now, looking at domestic demand, it should be light to very light this week based on continued mild temperatures. There's going to be some weather systems impacting the upper Midwest and the Northwest over the next few days, dropping the highs to the upper 40s range to somewhere in the mid 50s range and the lows down to the 20 degree to 30 degree range. The rest of the US though, it's going to be nice with highs of 60 degrees to 80 degrees besides some hotter 90 degree temperatures across the Southwest, Texas and the Southern Plains offsetting that Midwest and, Midwest and Northwest cold front to leave domestic demand in that light to very light range for the next seven days or so.